Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to navigate the object with Creo View. You know that it's possible to open the native 3D data from Creo or the PVZ file or another neutral files. You can simply open data from the menu or you can open data from the windshield if you are using in your company the windshield system or you can simply drag and drop the native data. So for example, I'd like to use and open the engine blower and the system will open the window and in the preferences, if you would like to check the preferences, select the right mouse button and view settings this is the quickest way and over here is the lot of global preferences and for example you can choose that system will automatically load the assembly structure in default the system will not load because many times you need to open the huge assembly and maybe you would like to work only with the partial sub assemblies and so on if you will select from the menu the system will automatically zoom your assembly and you can simply to spin the object or with the combination with the shift button and middle button you can pan yes so every information are on the left bottom corner right how you can manage it so simply use the mouse wheel and you can spin the object you can see that spin center is right now always in the middle of the assembly and I prefer to use the automatic spin center and what does it mean that where you move the mouse then system will spin the object around the mouse yes so if you will jump here or here so for me it's much convenience and much better yeah because if you are zoom in into object it's much better if you would like to orient model you can reuse the orientation directly from 3d model what was saved directly in creo so system will automatically load so for example you would like to use the front orientation or for example is a two orientation yeah so the system will automatically align to you if you will move it away and you would like to center the object it's really good because you can only double left mouse button double one yeah one two and the system will center into window so that's great and you can see that right now i didn't focus on the model tree or the menu from the top i just working over here in the 3d window if you would like to go through the navigation tabs you can see here that over there is the zoom all zoom all parts and so on or you can for example select the object and if you right now use the right mouse button over here are a couple of additional functionality what you can do and for example you can choose the zoom selected and it's really practical yeah because the system will automatically maximize the object and again if i will choose something different for example over here i will choose the function yeah zoom selected or Control shift s and the system will center the object in my screen so it's really user fun really quick okay and additional one yes you can use the zoom to window or zoom all i think that you will try to play with these options the additional navigations are that you would like to hide a couple of objects here yeah, because right now you can see that my object is transparent but i'd like to see it, what is there so i can choose again the object and if i will select object one by one so for example i can choose the control button and select more object and you can use the function for example hide selected and system will hide just selected object and in the model tree you can see that frame was hidden and again engine block was hidden so you can switch on switch off back directly from model tree or you can choose the function unhide all if you would like to choose more objects you can use the object and select the object in the rectangle yeah and everything what was inside of the rectangle will be selected so for example if i will choose like this the system will choose for me only the screw yeah again over here i'd like to select the screw it's okay if you will go the opposite from 
not from left to right but right to left everything what will be intersected the system will choose yeah so again here if i will go from right to left the system will choose intersected components you can see directly in the model tree again and you can use the right mouse button and hide object or isolate so for example over here i'd like to show you the isolate functionality and we would like to work directly right now only with these components if you would like to hide another one is no problem right mouse button or choose from the ribbon yes yeah, so i selected and right now it's everything what is here good so we have go through the how to select object how to navigate how to show or isolate the another functionality is here you can see that we have a couple of views here and for example you would like to make some um, comparison or you would like to separate the object so you can specify it and select the object for example and if you select right mouse button you can open in new view yeah so what does it mean the system will open directly the object in new view in the second window and right now you can see that over here is my engine yeah and over here right now is the engine block and this is the separated view so if you would like to show more it's not problem you can work and show what you need and if you will go back everything is whole assemblies here and sometimes for example you would like to see both view so you can split the screen here and for example i'd like to split like this i will choose these two objects and i have a both view in separate windows this is really useful and for example you would like to go to the display mode and rendering mode so for example i will select right now the engine block and if i will select the rendering functionality you see here that is the again possible to choose the keyboard shortcut f9 f10 and so on so depends for example you would like to see the wireframe so the system will show you the object as the wireframe or shaded with edges yeah so it's up to you and again it's working separately this is the first view and different rendering mode and this is the second view and different render mode great if you would like to jump back you can specify only one view and select back into assembly so you can create how many view you need and manage so for now do you understand how to work with view selection and navigation and display last but not least is the transformation and you can see here that we can transform or free rotation we can leave right now the free transformation and i will select the component so for example this screw yeah i will use the control button for a selection more than one screw and we would like to move it so you can use the dragger and then again you can simply to drag components uh, what is really nice that if you would like to move the components in with specific value so over here i'd like to select right now these couple of screws and if you would like to select these components you can simply drag or yeah like this or you can drag and right now you can see that system make the measurements and if you use the control button the system will show you the navigation how the system will move it yeah so it's really really useful so great if you would like to restart location it's not a problem you can use the functionality here yeah restore all to original or restore selected to original and again you can see that is a control r as the functionality so you can better to navigate and again for example if i will push the control button i can see the measurements better or orientation great if you will use the restore or the system will restore all perfect okay so in today video tutorial you have learned how to work with views selection navigation display and transformation mode with creaview stay tuned
leave a comment and like video tutorial. Thank you. Bye bye.